All right, for the second order range cutter methods, uh, which is going to give the, the the general framework first, and then and then show you how uh, each one of the three methods. We're going to cover three methods: the uh, Hans method, the Ralston method, and the midpoint method. And uh, but but in order to do that, we just see this is just the equation uh, again written out the regular runge cutting equation written out y i plus one is equal to y i plus v h y i plus one is equal to y i plus a one k one plus a two k two times h again just writing out uh, what we showed you in the general framework um, for the runge cutter method and k one is equal to f of x i y i that we're fine there Okay, but then we have this problem because k2 is equal to xi, f of xi plus p1 uh, h, uh, and so that's the, the x value where, uh, where f is evaluated at, and the y value is yi plus q11 k1 h. Well, what's the problem here? Well, first of all, uh, we don't know what p1 is equal to. p1 has got to equal something. Uh, q11 q11 uh, we need to figure out what that's equal to and then we'll know what k2 is uh, but even if we know and we already know what k1 is but even if we know what k1 and k2 is we also don't know what our a1 is equal to and what our a2 is equal to so we have these one two three four unknowns and we can I mean we could just make up numbers and put them in here, and uh, and and it would be a second order runge cut a method. Now, uh, the thing about this is, for these four numbers, some uh, numbers that we could make up uh, would make a lot more sense and and give us better estimates than other numbers. And the way we figure out what numbers we can use uh, that will give us good estimates is uh, by looking at the Taylor series expansion. When we look at the Taylor series expansion, they show this on page 2729 uh, for uh, y i plus 1 uh, is equal to y i plus f of x i y i times h plus f prime of x i y i over 2 factorial times h squared. So, so they do a, a Taylor series expansion uh, for y uh, about, uh, about, about the point y uh, i. So, uh, when they do that Taylor series expansion, uh, then they set it equal uh, equal to this. So this is equal to some as a Taylor series. Should use a capital T here. Uh, the Taylor series expansion. So we set, let's say, set equal to Taylor series expansion. Well, it turns out when we do that, and, and you can track this on page 729, when we do that, we get the following constraints. A1 plus A2 is equal to 1. We get this other constraint, A2 times P1 is equal to 1 half, and A3, excuse me, A2, we don't have an a3 times q11 is equal to one half. So uh, we get these three constraints, and so we have three equations, but we have four un unknowns, right? a1, a2, p1, and q11. And, and so uh, that's what we get, and in which uh, way we choose, what we choose for these a1 and a2. Uh, in other words, how we constrain these four equations, because the solution is not unique, how we uh, constrain these three equations to come up with uh, the four unknowns uh, determines the method that we are using. All right, so now we're going to go Hans method revisited. So we say Hans method. So for Hans method, Hans method, we set uh, a2 equal to one half. a2 equals one half. If we set a2 equal to one half, that means a1 equals one half. We can solve for everything else. So uh, set a2 equal to one half. That's Hans method uh, without the without the um, 
the iteration. Uh, the midpoint method which is actually the the midpoint uh, integration formula is what it, what it ends up being the same as if we set a2 equal to 1. So if we set a2 equal to 1 uh, then we can see that a1 must equal 0 and then p1 equals 1 half, q11 equals 1 half. So that's the other thing that we could do. And then the third thing we could do is called Ralst. Well, I mean, we could do anything, right? But these are the three uh, named methods. We got Ralston's method. And in Ralston's method, we set A2 equal two-thirds. Okay, and again, uh, if we do that, we can solve uh, for all of the other ones.